hello everyone well so today in this video we are going to cover one of the very important procedure or you can say one of the very hardest procedure which is nothing but the proc data sets all right so what all can we do with proc data sets let's try to understand each of them i mean there there is a whole bunch of thing which you can do with proc data sets out of which some of the interesting or most frequently used or maybe you can say the important one i'm going to cover over here right so these all are the topics which i will try to cover today now let's start with the first one which is check out the contents of library so you see there are two libraries which i have created over here now what if i just want to know what all are the tables are available in each of this library how can i do that so for that all that you can do is type proc data sets and then you write the library name which is la and then just run it's as simple as that you see now here you get a whole bunch of data sets available in that particular library so you see this is as simple as this now what if i just want to check what all are the data sets we have in temp library let's run this as well okay and then just see what happens here we go so here it doesn't seem to have anything right so this doesn't have anything so it just gives you the description about the dictionary nothing much okay now let's try another another library which is nothing but the work library i want to see what all are the data sets that i have in my work library okay so let's try and run this oh so here we get whole bunch of list now let's go and check in the work library you possibly might see all these tables look appearing over here but you when you go in work library you see only one table and if you notice over here here it says the table name and notice on this column name which is member type right it says this is data right so if you want to get the list of only data sets available in that particular library you're just going to use this particular option which is called meme type and in that you're just going to put the data now if you hit run for this particular thing here you're going to get the list of only tables or data sets which are available in the given library so you see this is the flexibility which you this kind of flexibility you get with proc data sets now let's try to check the content of one table or maybe more than one table in a given data set right let's try to check that out proc data sets and here i will use library la let's use la okay and then run it so but you are you just saw that this is going to give you the content of the library so for that what you're going to do is you're going to write contents and then you're going to say data and you're going to provide the data set name which is cars let's run this oh so here we got the content of our data set which is cars and you see this is the information these are the variables which are available in cars table which we have in our la library so for checking the content of a table there is a separate processor which is called proc content for that i have created a pre video if you want to watch you can watch that link is given in the description section now if you see over here it is providing hell lot of information over here right so if you want to limit the information that you can also do what you're going to do is you just use no list let's try if this no list what it does so if you check it out now this time you have less amount of information and you directly jump to the third section which is your proc content so if you want you can use this no list option now this content is something which you can check check with proc content as well what is different that it is doing over here right so for that if you want you here you just check the content of one table now if you want you can check the content for many other tables in just one procedure because you know the proc data set work in um, you know you can say that in groups or in 
um, yeah it, it works in a execute the statement in a group so we use the quit statement as well right so this quit statement will stop the processing of the group okay now here we can write another data set name as well right so let's go to the ll library and see what is the other data data set names that we have so for example you can write movies you can check the content of movies all right and now you can just hit run so similarly whatever the tables that you want to check contents you can just keep on writing them okay you want to check the content of skills table that you can also write okay so all the tables which you want to check the content you can just keep on writing them over here okay now if you go and see over here it's gonna give you the information this is for the cars this is for the other table and then again what is the table name you want to say you want to know right so here movies movies table name okay now the next table which we have is nothing but skills table and in skills table all the variables that we have are these variable types are these their length and so on okay so this is how you can check the contents of tables and libraries in sas using proc data set now let's see what is it next that we have copy the data from one library to another all right so let's try doing this proc what it's trying okay so before this i will just like to tell you for copying the data there is altogether a separate procedure which is called proc copy that i have created a separate video you can just go and check that out link is given in the description section but here you can also do that with more flexibility okay let's try this proc data sets and lib which which all right let's say just proc data set and run okay now because we have to copy so we're gonna write the statement copy and then you're gonna give the input library name over here what is the library that has the data which you want to copy so in my case l is the library which has the data which i want to copy now in which library you want to produce that you want to pre present that what is the library okay so i want to keep that in work library i want to copy make a copy in work library then it it would like to know what is the table that you want to copy then i'm gonna say select cars okay now you can just quit this if even if you don't write the quit statement it's gonna work okay now just hit run button all right now in work library you would have the cars data created let's try to go and check this out here we go so here we have cars data created you see how simple is this now let's say if i want to copy all the data available in la library to the another library let's say temp library you remember i created one library temp at the very beginning right so for that you don't need to use the select statement all that you need to do is provide input library and the output library so output library i want to use as temp as of now our output library is completely empty if you want to see you just check this out right it is completely empty now I will just hit run button Ooh, and now let's go back to the temp library and now if you see you have whole set of data sets available into it now do you know what all these data sets are these all data sets are something which were available in LA library now possibly you would have understand how to copy the data now let's say i copied the data from la to temp now can you go and see in la if you have the data available yes it is available now what if i want to copy the data in a way that it is not available it moves out from the la library means the input library so possibly we all know the difference between cut and copy so in copy it makes a copy of the uh, item but in cut what it does it it moves the item from one place to another right so what if we want to do that right so let's try uh, this time we gonna try here we gonna use okay let me write another statement okay proc data sets everything is going to be the same there will be just one difference and that i will tell you what is the difference right so this time i'm going to use 
of course i will use the copy statement but in the input this time i am going to use temp and in the output i am going to use work right and then that is it okay if you want you can write this select statement also right let's try this okay i am going to move i want to move only this many tables okay c subset c subset and i want to use europe europe all right these two tables i want to move from temp library in a way that it is not available it moves completely out from the temp library and go into the work library okay now this is the this is something which i want to do how can i do that for that all that you need to do is in copy statement you want to write move that's it now once you've done this once you're done this now just run button hit the run button go back over here check that out first in the work library and here you have c subset and europe data now let's go and check in temp, temp library do we have this data no we don't have it at all right so this is how you can use the move option to cut and paste the data from one library to another okay this is something which is available in proc data sets right now here i want to rename a data set right so let's say in work library i have c subset data right i want to change its name to cars subset how can you do that for that what you can do is simply write the statement proc oops data sets all right and then you're gonna write run and what is the statement that you need to use it is suggested over here isn't it it's not a trick change and in change i want to give the data set name which is subset okay and then to what i want to change it i want to change it to cars subset right i will also provide the library name which is work now let's see what do you think is it going to work or going to give some error not sure let's try to run this and let's see what happens okay who looks like it worked let's go to the work library and try to check this out and if you see oh it just worked you see c subset is renamed as cars subset so you don't have to use the data and set statement to do this particular thing okay now the next thing which comes over here is delete a library whole library or delete a table available in it okay so on deleting the tables i have created a very interesting video which covers end to end things i strongly suggest to check that out link is given in the description section here i will just give you some glimpse of it okay now for that what i gonna do is proc data sets and then i gonna say lib lib equals to work right and then run this and what's gonna happen for that i gonna write delete what is the table that i want to delete let's say cars made is the table that i want to delete okay in this work library the, this is the table which i want to delete right so what i can do is just select this and hit run button now let's go back to the work library and try to check that out you see that is gone what was the data cars made that's gone now what if i don't want to delete okay let's say i want to delete more than one table okay how can i do that for example let's say i want to delete cars and europe okay so what i can do is just write cars and then space and then you write another table name which is nothing but the europe and then just hit run here we go now again go back over here and you see that is also gone now what if i just don't want to delete data sets one by one i want to delete whole library how can i do that for that all that you need to do is just type the library name this time because in work library i am left with just one table so i'm going to change the library which is temp which has whole set of data sets right and now because i want to delete everything which is available in temp library so i'm gonna say kill so you just need to kill it okay now just run and go back in temp library and check that out it has nothing it's gone everything is gone if you want you remember i showed you how can you check 
the items available in a library you can just simply say lib temp and then run this you run this and you see it doesn't have anything back to the pavilion kind of thing or back to where it was right so you see this is how it you can use the proc data set for to achieve n number of things there is a whole bunch of things which you can do and it, here is a documentation available on this part right you can just go through it and go through it i will give the link of this documentation in the description section right and just in case if you have any doubt in any of the things just put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to cover that or solve that until then happy learning all the very best